Hello everyone and welcome to the live coverage of the Predator Germany Open. It's the third day here at the Atlantic Hotel in Bremen, Germany. And this is the second match of the day. First we have uh, from France Mr. Alex Montpellier and his opponents Mr. Labutis from Lithuania. And with me I'm Marcus Schamat, Napoleon from Sweden and with me in the commentary booth is Mr. Tim de Reuter. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? <laughs> uh, yeah, so first match was tense. That's why we're a little bit late. This this round is supposed to start at one, but it's already 1.30. The reason is because the first match was really a tight close match who ended up in a shootout between uh, Franco and uh, Brittany Bryant from Canada where Brittany Bryant came up on top and here we have a couple of uh, familiar faces of the Euro the European scene first with Mr. Labutis I've seen him a few times never played him uh, I know he's a good solid player uh, come up dry the first break good break but dry and his opponent uh, I played him uh, uh, a couple times I think it was the Alex Montpellier one of the finest from France lives in Paris amazing chef uh, I don't think he works more as a chef but he he handled a crew of uh, <coughs> 20, 20 different chefs in uh, in Paris before, and that's tough. I can I can tell <laughs> you because I've been involved in that restaurant business, and it's not easy to run a, a kitchen and to run a kitchen with 20 different chefs. You can go crazy probably a few times. It's looking good here. The first rack. In line. If you if you're in line, try to stay in line. There's a saying <laughs> in pool. So Tim, how are you doing? You you off for quiet today? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you had a lot more background information <laughs> than me, so <laughs> you can do the talking. No, um, yeah, I know both players pretty well too. I've been in the U.S. Uh, traveling with Pius Labudis, uh, really good player. Uh, shoots really straight. That's like his shot making is is crazy well. Okay. Um, yeah, and p like positional play too, but he's not more like a strategy player. So he was working on that for a while, and um, yeah, still trying to improve to really get on that nice level. He won the Ljubljana Open like three, four years ago. Okay. And had like two top three finishes in the Euro Tour. So he does show that he's one of the Ten seconds. finest yeah, uh, players in Europe. Tour is tough, so uh, if, if he reaches a semi-final in one of those, you, you really did something because there's never... I mean, once in a while there's some kind of easy matches, you would, you would say, but in the long run you're going to end up playing one of those big players one or two in a row, so you need to play steady and, and good. Yeah, and then uh, with Alex, yeah, I've been uh, going to the US Open with Alex. Um, really interesting player. It's more like a yeah, his background he's, he's is he's his more background like a strategy player too. His background is carom. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So he likes uh, to play carom a lot, and uh, yeah, he's also a lot of strategy. So he likes kicking and playing yeah. a bunch of saves. Of course, he can shoot too, but he's not shy to play some strategy, <coughs> which I'm also a big fan of. So mm. our styles kind of suit together. And he is also, uh, he played quarterfinal in the Euro Tour. So I think this match is. Uh, level? I think it's a real close match, yes. Mm. Alex with a. Ooh. Oof. A little skid, I think. Let's it's see if we can see a replay on that one. How on the earth? Did he? He was just rushed. It kind of took his eye off, and it, and it almost cost him. Yeah. First games goes to Alex. 
Yeah, after the nice dry break from yeah. Labudis. Yeah, Laboud is also in the boot yesterday with me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't commentary. listen. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was a good match, it was fun to do. Of course, he has been experiencing a lot of feelings and yeah, had a bunch of tournaments in the last mm -hmm. couple of years, so he knows how it feels like to be in the arena. So it was a good commentary, in my opinion. So Alex here with the break. Also from the middle. <coughs> Looks like he's gonna come up dry as well. But he left the four ball yeah. in a strange position. First look on Laboudis. He's gonna have his opportunity table making some decisions here. It looks like uh, the four is the problem here on this rack. Yeah, so might be able to run into the balls right now. He didn't choose that. I thought he was had a chance to run into the eight nine and still yeah. get shape on the two. That's what I thought he was gonna do to br to break that uh, that four ball up, so that he had a open rack. Yeah, so Maybe not he's sure. Got something else in mind. Might be playing for a safety on the four from this three ball. So he shoots real straight, you said, huh? Let's yeah. have a look. Yeah, he has a if he get an opportunity to have one of those. He also has a like a kind of short, compact stroke, but it also makes it really straight. So that's what makes it interesting. I think he's gonna try to hook. Yeah. Uh, Alex here. He left himself well. Stick stick the cubal here. Behind the A9 or the 8 and 9. It doesn't matter if he bumps the 8 ball a little bit. Would make it better. Call the side just in case. He does not want to bump the 9. Just to get some kicking lines out. And Watch out. He don't want to make that one. But oh. It's this a good <laughs> shot. <laughs> I'm not sure if Alex Mr. can Monte hit that Pierre, short rail. What do you got in the box here? What do you got in? Can he hit that short rail? Yeah, so he can play one rail. Let's see what he's got. Coming from a Karen background. He can maybe hit this kind of slow, yeah? Yeah, just leave the cue yeah. ball up just there. Make just sure you miss that. that side pocket there. Oh. oh, I think it hit the rail, huh? I think so, too. And this is a... No? Oh, was not good? Oh. Wow. Let's see here. I thought it hit the rail after. One. It feels like it went back. But well, not sure. The referee, camera view there, yeah. the referee also was also watching from close. So maybe yeah. the ball just barely did not touch yeah. the rail on the back. It's possible. So. Well, no, no, no. I mean, Alex didn't uh, argue that call from the referee. And so Labout, he Labout, this seems like a nice guy as well. He didn't say nothing, so... It must be the right decision then, yeah. I guess. So, good shape here, playing two rails forward, going to the center of the table. Two rails up, coming. Here's a. Oh. Uh, well, we need to have the, the, the camera yeah, view from the rail, rail you yeah, know, with from the, the rail. That long rail. Yeah, it's tough. So, plays good angles too. Always mm. make sure that. Like he has a good routine on the table too. Like he always checks his angles and has a nice smooth rhythm. Yeah. Both players are also not really slow players as well. So they enjoyable go they, they to they watch. They go on with the game, yeah. Yeah. Well, here's we play with a 30 second shot clock on the TV table and. Uh, one extension per rack. Yeah, I don't and see the using. And we races to four, two sets. If I it goes one set apiece, we're gonna force the shootout like we did the uh, the first match here this yeah. third day. But I don't really see them using the extension a lot of times. No, <laughs> that's not really their <laughs> their style of play. 
Oh, the second game to go to Lapuris. One, set, one game apiece. So yeah, P is stating yesterday in the commentary that he was really liking the venue and uh, also that the tables improved a bunch. And uh, I talked this morning also with some other players and they said that uh, they really liked how the tables play, um, which of course is a good thing. We had some uh, troubles the last couple tournaments. So yeah. No, they did some improvements. Uh, uh, this morning I went with uh, Mr. Jürgen Beckman from the Beckman Billiards. He's they had a they have a brand new um, uh, level system underneath the table where you can easily level the table the way you want it and, and it's amazing to go underneath it and, and look how they really put the effort to make this uh, table as good as it's supposed to be, you know, like playing wise and, 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 and install wise and, and make sure it plays on a pro level. So P is to break, still breaking from the middle of the table. I think he moved a little bit to the side already. Still looking for that one magic spot. Nice Good break. break and look at that cue ball. <laughs> Perfect, and he gets a real nice reward. The one even it was a, a really amazing, great break. Look, he only made one ball. Huh? <laughs> oh, he almost but made that's a all two he needed because one, he's so. straight in on this ball here. One, yeah. two. I don't yeah. see any problem really on this rack. Yeah, I would say one of the better breaks I've seen in the last couple of days. Yeah, has some work to do from the four to the five. Doesn't really look like the five goes in the same corner as the two, or might go, but it's tight. So he's the same age as you. You guys uh, are the same age. I think he's 25. He's 25. So, yeah. And you are 20. 26. 26. So you're one year old. Yeah, I'm closer to that uh, 30 mark. Ah, come on. <laughs> 26 is no age. <laughs> Once you get up to my age, then <laughs> then we're talking. <laughs> just enjoy the game and uh, oh yeah, the, you know, enjoy life. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy the game. life while you can. So, one rail. Getting on the right side. Oh, oh, he tried again on that right side of the okay, five ball. Yeah. Just had. I think the five mistake. just passes though. If we can get a view there from five passing the nine, does it? Extension. Barely. Yeah, that's why I said it, it looked tight. So that's probably why he didn't like to no, take no, the no, risk. Not, not that. Otherwise, he's got to back cut the five, you know. Yeah, we don't want to. If he's got a half a pocket there, five passing the nine. That would still be a tough. Great. This is tough, I think. Yeah, he See? is shooting it at passes. this. But it's yeah, but it's tight. Yeah. He's... Nice one. Okay. Okay, so then was not really needed to go to the other side of the five ball, but it did work out by kissing the eight. I don't blame him though to go try to go to the other side, you know. Yeah. Why play uh, if you have two pockets and one is kind of almost half a pocket? Well, he's in line now. Yeah, back to business. Just to figure out where he wants to do as far as positioning. <coughs> I think he's draw drawing drawing. Drawing the cue ball so he gets an angle here on this in order to make the seven. Yeah, but both players looking comfortable too. Like <coughs> nice speedy, no weird strokes, no nerves. D don't yeah. really see a bunch of nerves. It's winner side match. There you go. Come up 
two rails straight into the line of nine. Stop shot on the nine ball for the ten in the side to take a two one lead. Down goes the 10 and 2-1 in favor of Mr. Labutis. And we will hear from our partners. We'll be right back. So welcome back, Tim, your friend and road partner, he's up 2-1, looking good, keeping Alex in the seat. Yeah, nice break and run, last game. Let's see what he does again on the break. Wow. He's got the break down, huh? Yeah, this is dangerous. Unfortunately, the five is blocking his path. In order to make the five. So far, I think he's got the best break of the tournament. The way the way I uh, see it on this main table. Has a chance to go real first. He called it. I do like yeah. this. If he can just miss that seven, Alex he has a good chance to have. Alex in the back. To have shape anxious on the to two. be on the table, you can tell. Oh, what is going on? What's going on? He's, you can see he's. he's <laughs> Uh, this is makeable, definitely. Yep. Yeah, nice one. Like I said, missed that seven ball. And, oh, it's a little unfortunate. If he just missed that seven ball, he actually had a good chance to get Let's on the two ball. Let's see if he can make the two in the side there. If it passes the four. Maybe, maybe not. Otherwise, I think he needs to play a safety. I think he's looking for where to Ten play shape on that four. Extension. Calling the extension needs a little I think he goes time. Right, nice shot. But is this, this is the speed okay. perfect. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, oh, oh. That's a how's great that shot. How's that for a shot for you guys? <laughs> huh? Perfect speed control. Come up one, two rails to where he have four straight in this side pocket. Yeah, and then it looks easy, huh? <laughs> yeah. The game. I mean, the way he's breaking as well, he's, he's uh, 
He's a threat. Feels like he's got the whole package in order. Six ball in the corner. Here he got an angle on the seven to where he kind of have to, he can either follow or follow up two rails. Yeah, or draw I had it. a feeling he was going to draw back. Or draw it back, it's up, yeah. yeah. yeah he didn't really want to do much with the cue ball. I was probably going to do more. He's a little bit more clinical. Keep it simple, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> right? <laughs> so just stun over. Shoot the 10 in the side. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't seem like he's got any uh, doubt today when he's playing perfect. And another break so and far, run. 3 1. Yeah, break and run again. Really nice break and then a, a good opening <laughs> first shot from him. Alex and uh, Fia's both laughing. Yeah, they have a lot of respect for each other too. That makes it a lot of you know, a lot easier to watch this match as well. Uh, both players, they travel together. We actually in Vegas, we <laughs> we bought the same shirt, all three of us. <laughs> so And then one of us wears it at the tournament and we'll go like, oh, nice shirt. You know? <laughs> yeah, we're all good friends. A lot of fun. Yeah, I mean it's it's good that you can when you compete it's all uh, all business there when you get to the table because the look of it this so far is like both are business. Alex he's he's, he's waiting for opportunity at the table and Labout is not letting him uh, by the look of it, you know. He's breaking really yeah, well, I mean. That with that break, I mean. <coughs> and then he he's just uh, seems he got the cube on the string so far. So we're playing a race to four here in the first set. Also the second set is a race to four. If it goes one apiece, then it's a shootout. So there's no time for letting back or relax. Here we can see a nice view from the new table, the Predator Apex table. Was looking great. Let's see if we can keep up with that break. Good hit. Oh boy. Yeah, he got he got it so Look square. At this. <laughs> huh? I mean it's great to watch. He's uh really striking the ball well. What what did it what kind of food have over there in Lithuania? <laughs> huh? I don't know, I've never <laughs> been there, but I need some more. Did I he break when you guys were in Vegas in this way? As well? Oh yeah, he's <laughs> oh he just puts a lot of time on it. Yeah, know, it's important shot. I mean, you know. It's one. I mean, every everything, every aspect of the game you need to practice. But he's uh, definitely not shy to put the hours in. Straight shooting, like you said. So there was no doubt there. No, but going from the five to the six is tough. I would say that's key shot. He can play. He, this needs, he needs to draw this. Uh, he used to miss the ten, right? Yeah. Come up two rails and shoot the five in in the left corner pocket. Draw it. Ten seconds. Well, okay, one. Oh, two. he decides to Seven. do something else. Play okay. with a little inside okay. spin on that. I do like this though. Yeah. Now he can play two rails. Just make sure you don't get too far, but to get so you get behind that nine ball. That's the only thing he can do, or n not speed enough. One, two. Yeah, he played it real short to go into that nine ball. Did he get there? Perfect. Yeah, that's a great shot. Good cue ball as well. <laughs> so if he clears up here, it's a three. You know, he ends with three breaking runs. That's to win the first set. Alex had an Alex has, has a dry break, and yeah. from there he never got to shoot again. 
Not even a safety. Yeah, Laboud, Laboud, this is looking good. So this yeah. is the winner side match, even if the loser of this match still it will be in oh 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 oh. Needs a kill with a slap. Oof, 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 oof. It was very risky. I don't know if he intended to be that close to the side pocket there. But he'll take it on his way to... He doesn't waste much time. On his this way. is it for the first set. And there's the 10 ball. Wow. First set goes to the Labutis. And we will go for a short break. And we'll be right back. We're back here at the Atlantic Hotel, Bremen. Uh, second set in this winner's side match between Alex Montepillier and Labutis. Labutis put up on a clinic the first set, running out three games in a row, breaking runs to win 4 1. And now Alex is the one to break in the yeah, second. Alex set. trying to do the exact same thing as Spears does. But Piers just, just gets that little more pop on it to make the ball on the side. Yeah, I guess that's what it takes, huh? So, good Barely try, missing good break. the side pocket. See, the three almost made it. But and I think he got a little, little fortunate, at least, for his good attempt on the break. He can jump this, no? But I do like to jump this. 1-6 combination. 1-6 jump, 1-6 onto the 6. Oh! Oh, what happened there? Yeah. <laughs> he started laughing. He goes, what did I do? Yeah. And maybe a little momentum turn here. Opportunity here for Alex Montpellier. Head chef he was. Former head chef. Yeah, now running a pool hall. The one in who Paris. Scre scre screamed to the other chefs what to do. <laughs> Can you? Like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> yeah, Gordon. <laughs> I <want to> see. <laughs> no, I, I don't believe Alex would be like that. <laughs> well, what do you think? You know, it, it's a stressful, you know. Stressful job, for yeah. sure. And you need, you need to be, yeah, you know, oh, fast and short, uh, you know. Losing the cue ball a little bit. Did did roll dead straight though. I don't know if you've seen it, but nice cut. Was there. real straight. There's the four. Nice shot there. Also playing loose. Loose is a goose. 
We're also playing with a air cross two balls. The predator balls made by Aramid. I have a set of course at home. Do you, Kim? I don't yet, but uh, you you should get I one. And yeah, it's really <laughs> good good. Well, it's good. good set it of balls. It's good quality, and yeah. uh, there's gonna be more and more tournaments where they're gonna use them. So yeah, if you wanna be at least a good competitor at those tournaments, you should play with the same equipment. Same with the tables. The tables are playing really well. And there's really high quality product. There's a lot of big advantages to it. So, yeah, I might have to <laughs> switch to a different table, different cloth too. The cloth yeah. is a little different than Simone's, but I do like it. Yeah, I like it too. We had this Interpol open uh, a month ago and we, we had uh, this cloth on all the tables. Like you said, it plays nice, different, but, but nice. There, first game goes to Alex Montepier. Oh, well, you can see the players have to adjust a little bit to, of course, the newer, yeah, the newer products. Um, but eventually, I see people start to play really well on it. So that means that it's possible. Yeah, I mean we can uh, just go back a few years, years back, and, and think about how the equipment we played on then how much everything has developed in a much better way. Here you can see a view of the balls. Referee is racking with a nice triangle. Alex Montepia with game face on, staying focused. Yeah, starts the set a little bit the same way as he did the last set, winning the first game. Then had a dry break and from there it was all Pius. Now trying to change that momentum. Doesn't want to fall back on the same routine. <laughs> so he's probably thinking, oh, what am I going to do with a break? So I can break like Labutis. Last time I almost almost made that side pocket. Harder or what I'm gonna do? Maybe a little more pop, a little jump. <coughs> Almost ball going. S decided to break a little yeah, bit harder. He's gonna have a good look in this one. Good one. result here. Yeah, he almost followed that cue ball into the side pocket there. And a good layout too. He can go make the one four here and just to turn the three is not hard, the three to the five. It might be key shot to get straight enough on the five. But besides that, can't Mont complain. Yeah. So Alex, making sure that he's not making any easy mistakes here. Nice little Roll on the one into the four. Yeah. So now I'll take he's to coming play up two rails. Two rails. One, two. Get a good angle on the the two ball. That's the blue ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the. Are you explaining for the children back home or? <laughs> no, a legendary player from US, Jimmy Jimmy Mataya. He was running out. He's and he was explaining while he was running out. Next is the two ball. That's that's the blue ball, he said. <laughs> <laughs> I think Alex got a little straight on this three ball. Yeah. Tried to get on the rail to just okay. follow in between the five and the six, but he got short. Yeah. And now needs to... Force it over. But a, a clean shot, too. And Nice. So nice he has a shape on the five, but he tried to get straight on that five ball, so... He's got some angle. Wonder if he's gonna come up and down or if he's gonna slow. I don't know. No, he can't hold this, huh? No, I don't think so. He's gotta go back and forth. So I wonder what road. You know, there's a f three balls up table that can disturb his his path. You can choose so to play three rails. You can choose to play one rail. One, two. Yeah, three. like this. What a nice shot. Wow. Nice. His uh, Karen background. What do you helps think of this match here? so far? The both players are shooting. They're playing great. Well. Yeah. yeah. 
too. Yeah, look, look at this. this. Last three. <laughs> and really nice posi uh, position for here for the six. So probably extension. Yeah, this is he just extension. got a little bit too much angle. He rolled a little bit further. Well, he proved uh, last time that he got full control over his rails. He's just making sure what path he wants to go, I guess. So might might be able to go four rails around the eight with inside spin. Can also Bad. choose to play left and roll the ball. We hit the nine. Oh, okay. it's a, a very interesting shot there too. So a little, little cut on the eight here. Let's make sure you make it. Come around three rails. Nice one. Yeah, and great position here on that nine ball. Stun over for this. Uh, this ten in this the match side. deserves to go to a shootout. If he run, what if he runs the set now? I don't <laughs> want to see two of my friends play the shootout. <laughs> Why not? Honest. I mean, they deserve it. I mean, <laughs> Labut is ran the set out, and now Montepier is is halfway to running this second set. But yeah, they're, what they're a, playing great. What a great. treat of a match we have here. Second game, second run out from Mr. Montepier. Yeah was still stroking a little bit. He was checking his break spot and what he was gonna do next. So he was still not happy with that last break. I guess just because of the cue ball was a little a little too much stop spin on there. Alex. Alex is ready to play. He want he wants to win this set but he needs to. And there is his uh, wife, right? Alex's wife? Uh girlfriend. 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 Yeah. <laughs> not yet but Nadia? Uh, no, was no, it? No, no, Elise. Elise, Elise. Q. She and plays uh, also. I seen her play some term some tournaments. Yeah, they really live for pool. Yeah, they both play and they always uh, they always work on their game and okay. especially Alex having a club in Paris. Yeah. So that's where they practice a bunch. So they really live for the game. Elise also playing in the women's tournament. Yeah, she had a match yesterday. I don't know how she did, though. She... So... She was in a, one of those long matches. In, but some matches are longer than others. This one is fast. Yeah. Fast and furious. I mean, we used 40 minutes in, and it's like we're almost going for a shootout already. <coughs> Both players... Don't think too much on every shot. They play with a good good pace around the table. Oof. Ooh, miss How hit much the break. on the other side now. And he's got a shot. Look at this. Still made that ball in the side and <laughs> he got Look real fortunate this. to get still get going. He's got a nice uh, rack here for, for for another break and run. Yeah, yeah he won't to be too happy with that break. He's he's gonna feel like he got lucky there. Yeah, just have to make sure that four balls goes past that six. I think that's what he was checking now. And he didn't want to let uh, Labutis back to the table either. No, that and would then be he dangerous. Might not, he might not shoot again. Yeah, that would be very dangerous to do that. So the way he was breaking and playing the last last set was uh, <coughs> clinical. There was never a doubt, you know, you like. So, left himself a little more straight. Can still choose to play top spin, top right spin, and go two rails forward to land in between the four and the side pocket on the rail. I think he's using one of those uh, Sang, Sang Lee lines, huh? Q? I think so too, yeah. yeah. The Predator is uh, developed. I really like those Sang Lee's. The Sang designs Lee. are I, I went really to his different. Uh, He's uh, the Caram Cafe in New York, right? Sang Lee's. Yeah. I win, I've been there a couple of times. It's a nice club. They got uh, mostly Caram tables, but they also really got some nice uh, uh, pool tables as well. I played an exhibition there with... Uh, uh, with George Sanchusi and uh, Robles and Mika Imonen, yeah. So Alex a little straight on that five ball. Decided to take a little more time just to make sure. Here is your view. Gets a good angle. Oh. And 
and that's not where he was pointing the cue ball. It's, like perfect. it's good, be. but it's a good angle too. Yeah. Either you can follow or you can draw as it is. Yeah, I like to play follow. Well, he came kind of had a little kind bit of came up a little bit on that shot. He's still okay. Had a little bit more angle than we probably seen on that, but still should be okay if he makes a seven and goes two rails. He so is looking to play the eight in the side pocket. Yeah. I would probably prefer to just stay in the center of the table, go two rails. Because I don't want to be close to that ten ball. Yeah, you're right. Just don't come too short. Don't come too long. This is good. That's good speed. And now some more traveling to do. Got and three rails. Come around the ten. Back to the center of the table. Here we see a view. One, two, three. So put some more speed on that. Yeah, it's still it's okay perfect. though. <laughs> this is a match, isn't yeah, it? It's oh unreal. My God. It's <laughs> the best match I've seen so far. Yeah. Both play players are putting on some. The only thing that Alex is struggling with is, is kind of the, the break, see? Yeah, it's not I the mean, best of breaks, but still no, but he, he makes came the ball, close so. to scratching the last two breaks. Yeah. He's and breaking good, but just he's off a little bit on the on the yeah. aiming point. Yeah, so I agree. Say. Down so. goes the ten and three nothing here for Mr. Alex Monteplier, and he's talking to himself. Get your break. Yeah, he says, "Come uh, on, man." Come on. So, Labutis. I guess you s you know he's such a good shot maker. I guess if it goes to shootout, he's gonna be the favorite then. Uh, yes, yes, I would think so. I seen him make yeah. like in the stage we had this really yeah. tight table, like it was like triple chance. No, or but something I saw crazy. some of the long shots. He had one or two. It there was never a doubt. You know, yeah, yeah, but but so then on the tight table, like we were practicing this shootout thing, and he made like like thirteen in a row, and yeah. then he missed one and makes eight, and I was looking at him like. How do you do this? He says, "Well, yeah, just, uh, just, yeah, just shoot." <laughs> Let's see like now what Alex. So, so he started his set right. First set went yeah. to like a safety, right? Yes. He got the opening, and then he he's running three now. Yeah. So let's see if he can. If he can break and run out this set, that means that Labut is broken and run out. Cha first he's, set. he's changing the cue ball though. He moved to the right side instead of the left. So I'm Oof. not sure why you would change when the you're eight? making balls. Nope. He was making one though. This is. He yeah. made one in the, the four in the, in the side pocket there. Still risky. Nice. That was his best break. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. But still, I think it's risky to change. Where to break from if it was working the last couple of games. Yeah. Maybe maybe he felt more comfortable where he put it now. I don't know. But so it doesn't possible matter. run out again. He has shape on the one. Made a ball and I guess the pretty good layout too. Just at three ball. Which he could play with a 3-7 combination. He's just going right? to make sure he gets the good angle on this or three. Yeah. The three is the, the key shot in this rack. Yeah, if he can get... A nice three. angle on the three, yeah. then he can get straight You don't want to get five. too much angle, and you don't want to get too far, far, far down, because then you're going to be hooked. Ah, this is good. Yeah, good speed. Like, like so. He's probably so. going to draw this back. Yeah, I can to choose to use that long rail and leave the five to the center pocket, just so he can let the cue ball go. He's, he might choose to just play center ball and just let the cue ball go in between. The five and the eight to shoot the five on the top back. left. One short rail and then this, like so, like oh look at this, and Ooh. point Dexter. <laughs> he hit the point. <laughs> yeah, otherwise I think he, I think he would have been in trouble. I think he was trying to hold that cue ball there, and yeah, yeah. I think he hit a little bit on the thin side. That's why he lost. I think the he was trying to come to shoot the five in the corner. See the pace. Yeah, but he also hit it a little bit thin. So it's it's tough to judge, but he's still okay. And if he gets a nice angle on this six, then this is to get to the shootout. And he's a little bit straight, maybe. I'll tell you what. He can still choose to roll a little bit forward, right? This is uh, all about preference, I guess. How you want to land on this seven? Yeah, just follow the cue ball a little bit. Don't do too much. Ten seconds. 
first time we heard that in this, in this match. Ten Confidence. seconds. <laughs> yeah, I, I only heard it maybe two <laughs> times. Yeah, so co Alex confident stroke there. With another break and run. Third in this game. If he runs out. He's a little short of that eight. He's okay though. He was a little disappointed, pointed where he wanted to be, but still, still good enough to claim this second set. Watch out. No, no it's good speed. Made sure he had a nice angle still to work with. So let's see if he goes forward or back, if he draws. No, I like to play two Just before back. the side pocket. Ah, yeah. wait, well. No, I'll, I'll, I'll check this. I'll Good check fashion. side is with left. Come around. Just three with this, with the new three cloth. Rails. Or three rails. Uh, it's a more difficult shot. I like to play it the way he's probably going to play. Yeah. Watch out for the side pocket. Oh, well, he, drew he decided past it. to go. Past it. Nice. Like nice four shot. rails. Make sure you used to have a shot on the 10. Yeah. You know he he knew he was not gonna land perfect. It was a good shot. Yeah. Yeah, he so didn't want he didn't want to flirt with that side pocket at all. That's why he got he took it out of the And this ten ball to claim the second set and go to a shootout. There it is. And wow what what a set. That's unreal. He <laughs> ran the roll <laughs> Come set. Come on, he said. Look at this. <laughs> Happy faces here in Bremen. <laughs> Amazing. We have we're going for a shootout. And this match is something else, guys. And yeah. we will go for a break. And we'll be right back. Can't wait. So welcome back to the Atlantic Hotel, the, the, the German Open, the Predator Germany Open. And we have a fantastic match on the main table here, our TV table between Montpellier and, and uh, Labutis. First set break and runs from Labutis. Break and run three racks to win the first set 4-1. And what does Alex Montepier do? He wins the second set with <laughs> with four with four no three breaking runs and one run out, yeah. right? Yeah. From the Pierce from the only from had one jump shot. The unbelievable. In the second set. Yeah. Just had one jump shot. One shot. Double flew off the yeah. table and it was done. Yeah. What a game! And now we've been speaking here, me and Tim, and I, I mean he knows these players inside and out, and he said Labut is he's such a sick kid. You know he shoots so straight. Yeah. And then we got Alex has proved that he's such a shot maker. And they're good friends, and they're so on to the to the match. Yeah, I'm excited to, the, to see this. This is a shootout, no? I see them both four, practice. Four shots, uh, shots each. Labut is first. 
I've seen them both practice this shot a lot of times. Pierce likes to stun this ball and go three rails. Just that solid, confident punch. He likes that. Labutis draws first blood. Yeah, no flinch, no body movement, just Q. Age against youth. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Alex is not that old, but... Glasses yeah, against no glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Europe against... Well, never mind. <laughs> All right. Alex here is composing himself. Yeah, Alex is also... Like, he, he don't like to shoot it the same way as Piers. He likes to just play center ball. Yeah, no problem there either. Yeah. They make it look really yeah. easy, huh? <laughs> This will be a YouTube classic, yeah, this oh match. Yeah. It's got to be. I mean, this has to get a lot of views, too. I mean, Unbelievable. You don't get to see if this you don't, a bunch of if times. If you haven't seen a really good match lately, tune in, guys. Tune in. Watch us. Watch these guys perform. So Labutis, second shot out of his four. <coughs> Trying to... Take the lead again. Here he plays with a different bridge. Never a yeah. doubt. Still play the same way. He, yeah, he really he, likes he, that. He used that open hit. bridge there, see? Oh, the the okay. shot before he was using closed bridge. Maybe that side he likes it better with the open. <coughs> Might also be just because his arm, you know, like how the way how you settle in with that rail. So Alex, second shot, trying to tie it up again. I mean, it's real tough to say the winner of this <laughs> shootout. I, 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 can't, I cannot tell you. <laughs> I guess it's the future will tell. There we go. Two apiece. Alex, he doesn't flinch either. Game face. <laughs> oh, this is a classic. Labutis. He's got that uh, shot making ability, you know, you, you can tell he is like, it's just in. I mean, he might miss a few, I'm not saying he's going to make all of them, but. You know, you know that um, that shot making ability that that filler maybe has, and uh, Jason Shaw, you know, those long shots. Yeah. You just know they're gonna just uh, yeah, make they, him they in they the back of the pocket. You know, they don't really flinch when they <coughs> see the shot. They just think, oh, okay, I can make this and yeah, have a go at it. <coughs> it's a challenge for them. You know, it's it's more like they get up for a challenge. Yeah. So Alex here. <coughs> This is important shot. We're getting close to the end of the four innings, so three to three. That one was oh really yeah. important. He's if he missed that one, pump, pump himself up and stuff. He's 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 winding himself up here. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. There's some emotion. Yeah, go Gives on. him a little said. confidence boost. Well, you need to sometimes wind yourself up. You know, if if you're because he needs it in this match. Labutis doesn't doesn't flinch at all. He's a cool cat, though. Fourth and last shot of this. <laughs> so <laughs> pressure is on again. Yeah. Uh, and, and the way he shoots Labutis, you know, it, it's, a, it's an advantage to go first, I guess, putting the pressure always yes. back to your opponent. In this case, it's Alex, who's been showing a lot of heart, man. Everything Labutis is throwing at him, he, he's got the answer. There we go. If he makes it, we go to sudden death. If he misses this ten ball, it's done. 
Oh. He got up on that ball. Oh, he nice. <coughs> what a match we had here on the main table. Unfortunately, they had to be a loser. What do you say? Both. What a performance of yeah, both players. They both played amazing. Thank you very much, Tim. What an amazing match. Can't look for. Uh, we, we're looking forward to the next rounds of the day. At 5 o'clock, we will be back with the next game here on this main table here in Bremen, Germany for the Predator Germany Open. I'm Marcus Schumat. With me is Tim De Reuter. Thank you, guys. We'll see you back.